Today, we will be discussing synthetic materials, including what synthetic materials are, how they're made, and how they impact society. We will be discussing synthetic materials in preparation for your synthetic materials research project, which is assessing standard MSPS13. Gather and make sense of information to describe that synthetic materials come from natural resources and impact society. Now that we've completed our unit on chemical reactions, you will be researching and learning about synthetic materials in preparation for writing a research paper discussing what synthetic materials are, how they're made, and their impact on society. Synthetic materials are man-made materials which do not naturally exist in nature. Some examples of synthetic materials are plastics, there are many different kinds of plastics and other similar materials, like Kevlar, PVC, different types of synthetic rubbers, plexiglass, and many other plastic-like materials. Many medicines used today in modern medicine are also manufactured synthetically. There are also many different types of synthetic fibers and cloths, such as nylon, polyester, rayon, and many others. There are also synthetic fuels, which are used to power things. Synthetic materials are all around us. If you simply look around whatever room it is that you're sitting in, you will see that many, 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 if not all of the objects that we use on a daily basis are either entirely or partially made of synthetic materials. We can see some common examples here, straws, Lots of different uh, materials used for packaging or eating foods, the material in cars. Lots of materials that are absolutely necessary for our modern technology like phones and computers are made of synthetic materials. Shopping bags, all sorts of different packaging for food and other supplies. Medicines that are absolutely necessary to our way of life. Things like synthetic insulin, which is necessary for diabetic people in order to stay alive, and many, many others. Now let's talk about what natural resources are. Natural resources, unlike synthetic materials, are substances and materials which do occur in nature, meaning mankind has no involvement. They simply already exist within nature. These are things like coal, natural gas, petroleum, wood, wind, and lots of different minerals. Natural resources, which occur in nature, can fall under one of two categories, either renewable or non-renewable. Renewable resources means that they can renew or create more to replenish what has been used up over time. Non-renewable resources, on the other hand, are resources which have a limited supply, meaning once it's all used up, there is no more available. Now that we know what synthetic materials are and what natural resources are, let's discuss how synthetic materials are produced. Synthetic materials are made from natural resources, which we know are those materials which naturally occur in nature. Although the starting substance, the natural resource, is natural and exists in nature, synthetic materials are produced by taking those natural materials and chemically altering them into a new substance with different properties. These natural materials are put through a series of chemical reactions, which we call chemical synthesis, to turn them into new synthetic materials. So as you know about chemical reactions, we begin with a starting substance or a reactant. They go through a reaction, a chemical change, to produce a new substance. This is how synthetic materials are produced. The natural resource or the starting substance is put through a series of chemical reactions which changes them into a brand new type of material with a completely different set of properties. We call these new substances synthetic materials. So again, a natural resource like petroleum or coal is taken and put through a series of chemical reactions, which we refer to as chemical synthesis, creating a brand new material, which we call a synthetic material. Let's talk about the molecular structure of synthetic materials. 
So most synthetic materials are what we call polymers, poly meaning many. A polymer is simply a very large molecule made up of repeating subunits, which we call monomers. So in the process of making a synthetic material, lots of smaller subunits called monomers are strung together through the chemical process to create long chains of these repeating subunits. You can look down here at an example. An example of a polymer synthetic material is plastic. Plastic is created from drilling or fracking natural oil, like petroleum, which is then chemically altered into individual monomers, which are then strung together into long chains, which are then turned into the plastic products that we use today. The properties of synthetic materials, because they have gone through a set of chemical reactions, are completely and entirely different from the properties of the natural resource that they were derived from. These properties, being different from the natural resource, allow these new synthetic substances to perform different functions and be used for different purposes than the substance from which they are derived. Many properties of synthetic materials make them very different and able to be used for different purposes than the natural resources that are available to us. These properties allow the synthetic materials to better perform functions than what natural resources are available could. Some examples of these properties which the synthetic materials we produce are able to have are things like being stretchy and flexible being very strong, but still lightweight, being durable, meaning it's able to last a long time and not be damaged. Long lasting, meaning these things can last a very, very long time without degrading or decomposing or being ruined. Some synthetic materials are able to be soft, waterproof, even non-flammable. Societal impact benefits. Synthetic materials are produced because they do serve a function that meets a societal need or desire. As I mentioned in the beginning of the lesson, if you look around wherever you are, you will see that many, many, many of the objects that we use on an everyday basis are made of synthetic materials. It's very obvious to see then that having these synthetic materials available really are able to meet needs and desires for society and improve our quality of life. Some simple examples of uh, how needs are met by synthetic materials are having new and better functioning materials for creating all sorts of products, like technology, clothing, packaging, building materials, things for travel, many, 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 many things made of synthetic materials which are an integral part of our life and improve the quality of life of society as a whole. Packaging, which is something that we don't often think about, but without plastics and other similar materials which are used for packaging food, we would not be able to preserve food for extended period of time as we are currently. In modern society, this allows us to have food availability, uh, which was never possible in the past. Fuels are very important for powering modern society and medicines and all sorts of medical technology which rely on synthetic materials improve the health of society and extend life expectancy of people. Although there are many, many, many benefits to synthetic materials, which explains why they are so widely produced and used, there's also huge negative effects uh, on society and on the environment. Things like environmental damage caused by fracking and caused by the extraction of these natural resources, which are used to produce synthetic materials. Pollution. As I'm sure you know, plastics and other similar materials have become a huge problem with pollution. 
one of the properties which makes plastics and other materials so helpful and so useful to us is how long they're able to last and how durable they are. However, this also has a negative impact environmentally because plastics can take up to a thousand years to decompose, which means that our land and oceans are completely filling up with plastics and other materials, which are having huge devastating impacts on our environment. Carbon emissions, which are emitted through the production of uh, synthetic materials also have a very harmful effect on our environment. The creation of synthetic materials also has a huge, huge, huge water usage. And it also has the potential of polluting water, which is necessary for humans to drink. There's also a large economic and ethical impact in the production of synthetic materials. Many people who live in countries not like ours are forced to work for very, very low wages to produce these materials, which are then negatively impacting their own environment and their own health. Here are just a few examples of the negative impact that synthetic materials are having on our environment and on our society. As you can see, though a huge need is being met, there is also devastating effects to the creation and the widespread usage of synthetic materials. So the question remains, what is the solution to this problem? We know that having synthetic materials available is vital to how our society functions. However, it's also become very obvious that continuing on in the same method of creating and using synthetic materials is not sustainable. So it is our job to come up with more sustainable and environmentally friendly alternatives, like renewable energy sources, alternative, more sustainable materials, and possibly improving how we are able to recycle and reuse the synthetic materials that we do produce. One interesting example that is becoming more prevalent is the idea of bioplastics. These are plastics which are made from plant sources. Plant sources are a natural resource which is renewable, meaning we can grow more plants to replenish the ones that are used to produce these plastics. The other huge benefit to bioplastics is that they are biodegradable, meaning that they naturally decompose much faster than regular synthetic plastics. Now that we know what synthetic materials are, how they are produced, and some of their impact on society, it is your job to continue your research in preparation of your research project.